This evening in Indiana, an urgent manhunt is underway for a fugitive murder suspect who got out of jail not by escaping, but by being let go mistakenly. Emily Aketa explains. Tonight, the search is ramping up for a murder suspect who authorities mistakenly let walk free from an Indianapolis detention center just two days after he was arrested. This was an error. This should have not happened. Law enforcement now making a plea for the public's help in finding 28-year-old Kevin Mason. They waited six days to alert the community of his accidental release. A tactical move, they say, as authorities covertly tailed Mason's girlfriend. Today, arresting her for assisting a criminal. We thought it was to our advantage to follow her until we find where they have him. Last week, Mason was arrested in Indiana on three warrants out of Minnesota related to homicide, a parole violation, and firearms possession. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says one of their clerks thought she was correcting duplicate bookings and lifted two holds in the inmate's file. The mistake was not caught before a clerk in Minnesota lifted the final hold when authorities waived extradition there. Residents in the area now left on edge. It upsets me that it puts the community in danger. Um, and I can only hope that he's found soon. I think they have a responsibility to keep us safe. The surge comes on the heels of a massive manhunt that blanketed Philadelphia suburbs. Convicted killer Daniello Cavalcante evaded hundreds of officers for nearly two weeks after crab walking out of jail. Now in Indianapolis, another multi-agency manhunt as the sheriff's office vows to tighten its protocols and announces the termination of two clerks. I'd rather no one get out of jail that's char much less one charged with murder. Authorities believe Mason is still in Indianapolis and acknowledge she's had practice evading law enforcement, having been on the run since a deadly shooting back in 2021. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.